So, playing PlayStation games on Android. Specifically for this video, uh, let's do PS1 and PSP. They seem to run the best from what I found. I have found a PS2 emulator. It's not on the Play Store, but there is one. And it doesn't run that great. It's early days for PlayStation 2 emulation. So I won't be showing that one off in this video. Maybe sometime in the future, but not in this video. And uh, let's start with PSP here. And uh, there we go. And for this, I recommend set go to the settings first and turn on frame skipping. And, s and uh, set it to 2. Because I've actually had a little bit of lag issues here. And setting the frame skip to 2 seemed to be the perfect amount. So I'll just get that out of the way. My frame skipping is on on the emulator and set to 2. Played some Power Stone here for a bit. Push back and you get to the menu here and just load state. And if you see any lagging, that is the video capture, not my, not the emulator. And uh, so yeah, without uh, the frame skip, this was running much worse. And uh, with it on, as you can see, it's mostly smooth. At least on my end. Again, if there is if there is any lag or sound, uh, it's because of the video capture. If the sound isn't synced up, it's because of the video capture. So that's Power Stone. Runs great with frame skipping on, of course. So um, there's also other games, of course, that'll run just fine. All the ones I've tried, they run fine. So. Um, Let's move on to uh, PlayStation now, I guess. So FPSE, this is the PlayStation emulator I'll be using. And I'm using this one because EPSXE here, which is what I used first, and I use it on PC. The Android version isn't great. I recommend getting FPSE. This FPSE ran games better, at least the ones that I played. It ran them better than EPSXE, but I still use this one for PC at least. So, uh, let's open up FPSE here. I'll be, let's just use uh, Final Fantasy VIII here. I already have a safe state in this. So, as you can see here, just push back. You can do a quick load. Save state here. Oops. Runs fine. Not perfect, but uh, there is some weird glitchiness, I've noticed. But uh, it ran, FPSE runs this game better than uh, EPSXE did. I will say that much. So, uh, move back here. And I also, for this, would recommend, I don't think you need to do this. It should run as soon as you download it and you've, uh, you have a, a games on your on your phone. But... For better results, you may want to come in here to advanced settings in the paths and maybe get a PlayStation BIOS. Just look for it on the internet. Put it, uh, put a store it on your phone. And uh, you may get better results. I'm not sure about that. But I don't think you need it to actually run games. That's just uh, another little tip there. And uh, let's see what else I got. I guess that's pretty much it, then. That's just PSP and PlayStation 1. Super simple, super quick. Just got to find the games on the... Uh, got to find the emulators on the on the Play Store. And you're up and running. So, uh, I, guess I'll, I guess that'll be it, then.